How's this for a slightly cleaner work area? I wish I could say I actually cleaned it, but I just crammed everything into that bucket. Okay, my honest intention today had been we were going to work on this. We we're going to actually, you know, finish getting it cleaned up and put some magnets on it. Uh, it turns out that I, um, I don't have any epoxy. So, we're going to revisit this just a little bit. And now, what I have decided is we're going to, we're going to mount the stator to a solid surface and then we're going to run a shaft through the rotor mounted to these pillow block bearings. Whatever we mount the stator on, these bearings are going to be mounted to that and that's how we're, uh, that's how we're going to get our, our setup. And the, you know, the shaft will be able to mount a rotor to that on the outside. We're put our blades on it. I did measure this. This is uniform. So however we, we met, mount this, so long as we keep our center bore right in the middle, which really shouldn't be that hard, we've got a decent size air gap to work with. So I think, I think it's a solid way to go. Now in the end, in the, in the end, we're going to go with probably three eighths or half inch steel that this is going to be mounted to. And, but in the meantime, we're going to go cheap and easy piece of plywood. So let's get cracking.
Okay, I've got my meter tied into this red, yellow, and blue set of leads right here. And uh, did something I wasn't expecting. And now, of course, this is no load, just open voltage. Right now, I'm just turning it slowly by hand. And here goes the drill. We're gonna spool up very slowly. And it's kinda neat. volts off of that set of leads. I'm going to uh, jump to the other set. Alright. Okay, that was kind of slow. Let's put it back on high. Not as high that time, but my, my battery's getting a little weak. Let's see, I wasn't expecting that kind of voltage. I was expecting it to hardly take anything. Okay, that's gonna be our stopping point for today. Uh, I've got other things I need to move on to, but just to kind of go over what we did, I made. Just real easy little plate for this. We're going to, whenever we get it kind of worked out a little bit, we're going to do that out of steel. But, really don't see any reason why you couldn't leave it wood if you got better wood than this. Uh, now, whenever I drilled this out, I put my uh, my circles, or my, my, my holes for the stator almost exactly where they're supposed to be because you don't want a whole lot of movement in that. I did allow myself a little bit of wiggle room, but not a great deal. Uh, we used one inch pillow block bearings in the middle. Same, but a little bit bigger with this. I used three eighths inch bolts and drilled the holes half inch. This gave me, you know, a way to, to move it, you know, around whenever I needed to. Uh, basically, you know, getting it put together the way I put it together, uh, you put all, you know, put all your bolts in, but you don't tighten them up. And as you, you saw in the video, I wrapped this with tape. So uh, I'll put eight, eight layers of tape. You need to have somewhere between six and eight layers because you want it to have a, you know, a pretty snug fit with your stator. I mean, with the, with the rotor. Put the rotor on it. Uh, that way I know there's a gap all the way around and then we tighten things up. That's how, you know, you, you keep it kind of centered. I used one inch threaded bar for the shaft. Uh, I mean, it's, it's real easy. This is stuff that you can get real cheap. I think that this bar cost me uh, $13. These bearings are 10 bucks on eBay. Nuts, 30 cents a piece. I don't even think they charged me for the washers. All the hardware is cheap, so it's pretty pretty easy, pretty simple to get together. I think, uh, you know, you might have to buy you a $4 compass just to make sure you get all your holes in the right spot. The rotor was a little bit more complicated. Uh, one thing, it's out of round a little bit. I don't know if am I goofing around, I, I bumped it or if I dropped it or what. It doesn't look like it's hit, but it's certainly more round in places than others. Uh, the easiest way I found to get this to work was I went to Tractor Supply and I bought a, uh, a weld a sprocket collar thing. I don't know, they got a proper name, but I don't know what they are. Bought it for one inch shaft. I did have to grind out the hole in the middle just a little bit to get it to fit snugly. It takes very, very little, or it took me very, very little to get that to go. Then it just slides right on. In the end, 
I'm going to come back and uh, I'm going to weld a nut to the collar because ba basically I've got three washers on the inside to space this out properly and it's not quite right. Uh, three washers isn't quite enough, two washers, I mean four washers is too much, that kind of thing. But once it's in place and snugged up, it works pretty well. Now I have seen other people do this. There's videos of people all over YouTube doing it. See, dragging somewhere because of that. But no big deal. Uh, once uh, once this is tightened down, that the nuts welded onto it. I'll be able to use another nut to, you know, lock it in place and it'll be in better shape. And what I was saying, I, I've seen other people do these and they've rewired the stators to get, you know, high voltage. Uh, I didn't have, have to do that. Uh, I mean, got 300 volts across each leg. Uh, that was way more than I expected to get out of it, even if it's, you know, tiny, tiny amperages, that's still going to, you know, give us, you know, so, you know, a decent output, I think. Uh, the next video, I'm going to come up and we're going to connect this to a rectifier and some batteries and see what happens and see what kind of wattage we can pull out of it. So for now, that's it. Uh, again, all, all you guys find this interesting and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out and uh, you'll get notifications for whenever I do new stuff. And, uh, and thanks for watching. Uh, and definitely guys, stay safe, stay away from each other. If you're feeling under the weather, I hope you get better soon. And stay tuned. Good night.